Hey everybody, I am back for another review for a game called Dungeons of Dreadrock. This one took me a while for a couple of reasons. First of which is real life continues to happen so I wasn't able to progress and play as much as I wanted to. And the second is that I wanted to complete this game in its entirety before giving it a review. And as I will explain later, there was a lot to this game and there were a lot of levels to complete. If you are new here, Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for subscribing or however you found my channel. Thank you so much. I don't do review scores for any of the games that I do. What I do is that I go over a description, brief history, give you some positives, some negatives, and finish up with some final thoughts. Let's get into it. The description says Dungeons of Dreadrock is a puzzle adventure game in which you set out to save your little brother. The spirit of 1980s home computer adventure games is revived for contemporary audiences and platforms. Fight and puzzle your way through a hundred handcrafted levels into the ancient depths of Dreadrock Mountain. Relive memories of old school dungeon crawlers from a new perspective. That's right, 100 levels in total. That's partly why it took me so long to, to complete this. Oh, I failed to mention that I am not the best when it comes to puzzles. I'm actually pretty trash when it comes to puzzles, but I made it through, I did it, I completed the game, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, the release release was on January 31st of 2022, and it is available on Android, iOS, Steam, and the Switch. And obviously, I am playing on the Switch, which is what you're seeing on your screen right now. I initially saw this game on Twitter a couple of weeks ago that said a demo was available with when I went to the eShop, it had a massive sale, and so I decided to pick it up for myself, but it's full price, even if it wasn't on sale, it's $10, so it's still cheaper than pretty much any other modern game that you would find out there, but I'm sure another sale will happen in the future if you don't have 10 bucks to spare, but who doesn't have 10 bucks? And speaking of supporting this game, Dungeons of Jed Rock was developed by one person by the name of Christoph Minimir. Shout out to this solo indie dev for delivering such a great product, and that leads me into the gameplay. It's fairly simple, but because of this, the game uses all of its functions in any way it can. You move your character along the tiles, you have a fixed speed, and it feels like you are moving a chess piece along a board. The dungeon themselves are small with a wide array of challenges and enemies. You eventually get a sword to use to attack enemies and the ability to throw items, including the sword. You'll land on platforms that will trigger traps, use teleports, and go through hidden areas in each dungeon to complete the level. One huge tip for each dungeon is to make sure you read the title of each dungeon because it leads to the core aspect of what you will need to do in order to be successful. Hints do exist and will give you a progression of how to solve a dungeon and it doesn't really penalize you in any way so you can use it as your leisure. There are several story beats that happen when you sit at a bonfire that helps expand the narrative of this. As stated, there are a hundred levels but each one is unique in its own right. Sometimes you may have to backtrack to the previous level with while being chased by an enemy or or if you throw your sword to progress. Backwards can be forwards in certain contexts. Transitions are very smooth with little to no downtime in between. As the website says, the Earth's website, no inventory sorting, MMO grind, and no open world searching downtime. And I love that, which leads perfectly into some of the positives I have for this game. I loved how very streamlined the design and the design is and other elements as well. There's no time wasted as you're able to jump right in. And overall, this game can be completed in just a few short hours. And it is ideal to play in shorter sessions, but you are always welcome to do it all in one run. I dig some of the character designs and animation are great as well. I definitely agree with the modern take on an older style of games. One of my favorite things is when I load up a new session and the floors descend very fast into the one you are currently on. The dream sequences that happen throughout the game pan out really well. I also love that each puzzle has a nice balance of complexity and simplicity. On some of the harder puzzles, it just requires a bit of out of the box thinking to solve it. Although I did use a lot of hints in certain areas. While most games will continue to increase the difficulty to the absurd the further you go, Dungeons of Dreadrock will have some levels even at the later stages that seem easier than some of the earlier levels. There's not much to say in the way of negatives. As I mentioned before, you're encouraged to play in shorter sessions and I think that would be the best because longer sessions tend to 
blend all the floors together making it a little tedious at times and there's a slight knock against it but it's nothing major the controls can be a bit clunky on the switch because your character kind of moves a bit stiff and it leads to some unnecessary jumps or even some unnecessary deaths when you're going through the dungeons despite these negatives dungeons of dread rock is still a well-designed puzzle game that offers creative puzzles fun enemies and a story that drives you to keep going it's a solid dungeon crawling adventure that will appeal to gamers looking to enjoy a good puzzler in bite-sized chunks i had a good time with this and i think it is well worth your time to pick this up especially because it is so cheap in price and have you played dungeons of dread rock and if you are let me know if so what did you think if not will you be picking it up after watching this review let me know in the comments and i appreciate you so much for checking out this video and thank you so much for watching be sure to like share and subscribe to the channel my name is chike and i will see you next time bye Thank you.